Hi everyone, welcome to another learning episode. Today I'll be sharing another quantitative research design which is a correlational research. Last time I talked about descriptive research and its sample research titles. Today I'll be sharing with you some sample research titles under quantitative research design which is a correlational research design. But before anything else, let us define first what correlational research is. Correlational research is a type of quantitative research design that collects data to determine whether or to what extent a relationship exists between two or more variables. So without further ado, let's jump right away into the different sample research titles under correlational research. For my senior high school students, especially those who take up academic track, here are the sample research titles for all of you. We'll start with the Accountancy Business and Management Strength. The first research title is Marketing Strategies and Consumer Satisfaction Rating Among Cafes. This research title evaluates the different marketing strategies used by cafes and check the relationship of these strategies to consumer satisfaction rating. Through this study, we're going to figure out which among the common marketing strategy generates higher consumer satisfaction rating or vice versa. Our second title is Money Management and Investment Risk Appetite of College Students. We are going to evaluate the money management skills of college students from different courses and check the investment risk appetite of these college students. We're going to check their profile if they are conservative investors, moderately conservative investors, or aggressive investors, or they are not investing at all. Through this research study, we're going to figure out if people who have good management skill are also good in terms of their investment risk appetite. Are they also aggressive or are they conservative? We are now down to our third research title, which is the leadership styles and employee motivation in the real estate firms. So we're going to figure out the common leadership styles used by most of the real estate leaders and figure out if a certain leadership style positively impact or negatively impact the level of employee motivation in the real estate industry. And for our next trend, we have humanities and social sciences. So all the humanistas out there, here are the sample research titles for all of you. These are all sample correlational research. Now for our humanities and social sciences, here is our first title, Teachers' Cultural Competence and Students' Cultural Sensitivity in Social Studies Education. In this research study, we are going to figure out if the teacher's wide knowledge in terms of culture affects students' cultural sensitivity and they tend to respect more the cultural differences if their teachers are more adept and well knowledgeable in terms of different cultures. Now for our second title, we have Gender Sensitivity and Civic Participation Among Police Officers. Our participants for this study are the police officers. We are going to evaluate their level of gender sensitivity and their level of civic participation. Are those police officers who are highly gender sensitive, are they also participative in terms of their relationship and civic duties in the society? or it's the other way around. For the last title, we have Adversity Quotient and Personality Types of Humanities and Social Sciences Students. Adversity Quotient is defined as the ability of someone to overcome different life's challenges and see opportunities for growth in them. Now we are going to check the level of adversity quotient of our humanities students and identify if it relates to their personality types. And now we are down to our last trend under the academic track, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now for our first research title, we have Science Teachers' Communicative Competence and Students' Problem-Solving Skills. Now, there are two 
entities that we are going to evaluate the relationship. The first one is the teacher's communicative competence. It has something to do with his or her oral and written skills and students' problem-solving skills on related science concepts. Our next title is Students' Access to Technology and Their Academic Achievement in Science Subject. This research study answers the question if those students who have higher access to technology achieve more compared to students who have poor access to technologies. And we are now down to our last research title, which is Classroom Practice in Inquiry-Based Science Teaching and Students' Analytical Competence. For this title, we are going to assess the extent of using inquiry-based science teaching in the classroom among teachers and analyze if it affects students' analytical competence. And these are the six sample research titles for all of you guys. Thank you. I hope you learned a thing or two from this discussion. See you on our next vlog. Bye!